No! No! Well, that's not good. I am uh, officially concerned. Uh, if you haven't seen both Eddie Kelly and the kid who came in with A.O. Tyfasi, Jack Barton from Furman, I have both re-entered the transfer portal. And again, I never thought we'd get to this point and like set aside that I'm a tech fan and that these are people transferring out of tech that you now have kids who transfer to a school and then two, three months later transfer out. Like you practice with the team, you were on the team and never played a down of football for them is insane to me. Is is insane. And look, we can all say it's probably academics or it's probably this or they're weeding kids out to make room for, you know, they've got these all these world beaters that they're going to get in later in the portal. I don't know, man. Um, I don't know what's going on. I have been fairly high on Santucci up to this point. By the way, Eddie Kelly came from uh, South Florida. <laughs> You know, maybe it's that, uh, well, I can't even say they don't like the new DC. I don't remember if they came in after he had been hired. They certainly came in after the last two had been fired though. So I don't know. I've seen what people have been saying on the discord and in message boards. And I look, I thought that the Jack Barton kid looked a little bit undersized when I saw him at the spring game, but we need bodies. We only have two, you know, Battle-tested kids now in uh, Sylvania Anjouan and who was the other one? Um, Joshua something. Anyways, we've got two defensive ends that have any kind of experience. And let me tell you, if there's one position group on the defense that you say, say you can only choose one position group, cornerback, safeties, linebackers, defensive ends, that you are okay at, that you have depth at, you don't have to worry about, it would be the defensive line. Why is that? I'm glad you asked. That is because if you can rush the quarterback and cause problems up front to disrupt what the offense is doing, turns out you don't have to be as good in the secondary or even linebacker. All right? You can also just take away, you can take plays out of their playbook if you're good enough uh, on the defensive front, especially at defensive end, which is where we've lost these kids. What do we have now? Um, 11 transfers out and one in, I think, or zero in something like that. So we're, we're, we're like at a negative 10 margin for, uh, all you business guys out there on defensive end. Um, but you can't throw the, you can't throw deep passes if you, if, if the defense has a good enough pass rush, right? Um, also, if you're good enough off the end, which is where we're losing all these kids, you can turn everything inside where all your players are, right? Where it's easier. Uh, you don't have to tackle people in open space. So this is a problem. This is a problem. We probably need four to five defensive linemen in the, in the portal now. Um, now, we'll say this. You know, it is concerning like, well, they're not going to have a ton of time depending on when they come in, if it's in summer camp between then to learn the system and then um, be ready for, look, we open up with Florida State and Ireland, right? It's a lot to prepare for. I will say this, at least on the defensive front, it's probably the position group that, you, like, schematically you have to be a squared away in, especially at defensive end. And, look, I'm not underplaying it, by the way. It takes a lot of skill – there is a lot of, um, you know, academic knowledge to have fundamentals, but 
really at defensive end, if you can just get after the quarterback and push that tackle, you know, around, push that guard on your side around, um, you're going to be okay. There, there's not a ton of extensive knowledge you have to have. Um, it's a little harder, like, if you have a quarterback coming in, and, and shout out to Haynes King, he did it. Uh, came in later than than now last season. I remember because I had interviewed Zach Pyron, uh, and he wasn't here yet, and and things worked out. But um, everybody needs defensive linemen, especially defensive ends. It's going to be tough. Uh, it's going to be tough. And if we can't mount any kind of pass rush or get any push from our defensive front ne- front next year, I just and don't, before you start typing in the comments that you know I just I don't want to see Tech do well or I don't understand football or any of that nonsense. Just listen to what I'm saying. This is a therapy kind of thing. I need you to sit and listen to what I'm saying, not type. We're going to struggle to make a bowl. We're going to struggle. As good as we are offensively, and I do think we're good offensively, if we are just neutered up front on the defensive front, um, I mean, you might have to score 40, you know, 40 or more points every game to be in it. And that is not an equation for success for Tech. So, Santucci, it's time to earn your money. Jess Simpson, Kyle Pope, all you guys, it's time to uh, to earn your money. We need, in my opinion, at least four defensive linemen um, in the portal. Now, I also saw this is some this is some coping mechanisms you see from people. I've seen this as well. Oh well, Jack Barton was undersized. Io Ty Fossey, you know, didn't grade out well in the spring game. I have a feeling I know where that comes from, and it comes from somebody who, in my opinion, doesn't know football as well as they think they do. Um, that's coping, though. Uh, even if that is true, you need bodies up front because you're not, you're not, uh, especially with the helmet. Mike's now we haven't talked about that you know all the quarterbacks and and the defense are getting plays in um their helmet helmet mics you know the speed of offense is just going to keep rolling like it is you got to rotate people in up front those big heavies get tired okay you need depth up front and we don't have it that's a fact that's something Bryce Coon said you know he had talked to someone inside the program that said they feel good about their starting four but we don't have any depth behind it. Or at least we don't have any depth of experience. All right. And that's coming from someone on Georgia Tech staff. Uh, it's concerning. And I hate it because I've had a pretty good few days. And it seems like just uh, <laughs> just when I think I was out, they pulled me back in with despair and hopelessness. Um, so, look, we'll see what Key can do. Um you know, in the next, well, first of all, let me, let me clear this up too. This is my understanding of the portal. And for all you tech fans now watching college football is almost like playing D and D like you need a textbook of the rules and you have to take class on just understanding how the portal and NIL works. It's almost like the tax code. No one really understands all the rules. Uh, the tax codes, what, like 17,000 pages. It wouldn't surprise me if like the portal and NIL Uh, non-rules are about that many pages. Um, But this period is just kids that are entering the portal. You can bring kids in at any time, so long as they've entered the portal in these periods. So look, I said yesterday, there's going to be more kids um, that enter the portal. I don't think this will be the last two either, Um, but we, we need to bring kids in. And think about Really how Tech's defense has been built, where where I would say having a strong defensive front is building it from the inside out. We've really had it built from the outside in where I think we're very talented in the secondary. Um, and not so much struggle up front. And we've seen the results of that. It doesn't matter how, how great of a cornerback you are. You can't cover a guy. You can only cover a guy for so long. Right. So the, the, the opposite is true as well. Let me know what you guys think, um, in the comments. Um, are you worried? Do you think, you think he and and crew can get some people in the portal to, 
you know, shore up this defensive front. We'll see. I'm going to go listen to some Blink-182, try and relax, uh, which I guess is probably like classic punk rock now. Uh, I'm so old. Anyways, y'all have a good one.